Hi guys, if it's Friday, it's Down and Dirty Woodcraft. Stay with me. Okay guys, today we're going to do a Down and Dirty quick tip for you. And that's on how to tie. I'm sure there's a fancy name for this, but I've just always called it the hammock knot. It was how to hang a hammock when a hammock had a single rope coming off of it off each end. Um, many of the hammocks I've had in the past had two ropes, and so I just went around the tree and connected it. But a single rope hammock, I've already showed how to do a timber hitch. Well, this is another hitch, and actually to me works a little bit better on odd-shaped poles. So we're going to, out here at the range today, I'm going to do a quick demonstration where I'm going to tie to this 4x4 four four and show you how to tie the hammock knot. Let me set that up the hammock knot. Now I've gathered up all my excess because I've got 15 feet of line on this so I don't need all this. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go around whatever it is I'm tying to. This could be a tree, this could be like this, a 4 before whatever. It's something that's got a rough surface or a surface that I don't think is going to hold very well. Okay. Now let's talk about sizes of trees for a second hooking the hammocks to. If you have a natural tree that's this small, four or six inches, something like that, it may not have a big enough root ball to hold you up, especially in wet weather. The tree may lean. So I prefer trees that are at least a foot in diameter to hang hammocks off of. But you know where you're at. You know what kind of trees you got. Go with that. But just for me and my south down here, due to the heavy rains and et cetera that can soften the ground so readily, I don't hang my hammock on anything less than a one foot diameter tree. Okay, hammock knot. Go up to your tree. Go around it. Pull it up kind of snug. Now I've got my excess all bundled up. I'm going to go over the top. Come back all the way around. I'm going to go through once. Twice. Okay. Now I'm going to cinch that up. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the line, come over the top, I'm going to pull it up here, pull it under, pinch it, and I'm going to pull that slack out just like that. That's created a bind right there where it's wrapped around itself. Now this is a cinch loop. Okay, So I'm going to pull left and pull hard right, and that's locked it tight against the tree and bit it down tight there. Now all I got to do is simply do three simple half hitches, which is form a loop, come under, go through the loop, pull it up, form a loop, come under, go through that loop, two, and finally three, three half hitches. That's it. That's the hammock knot. Now that will constrict and pull itself tighter against that. But the beauty of this knot is it's so easy to untie. So it's going to hold the load now. That cinch I put in the beginning is going to pull it tighter against the tree. So this isn't going to slide up and down. It wants to pull itself like a noose tighter and tighter. But this series of half hitches can't get blood tied all the way to the end. That first one will get a little snug, but not the second two. So it makes it easy to untie. Now, when it's time to untie, all I got to do is grab those half hitches and pull them down the line like that. And now they unhook. One, two, and finally three. Like I said, pull it down the line. Now that's done, that last loop comes out again, pull it down the line. And then all I got to do is just slack it up by pulling to me and it will come right off. Super simple knot to work and hang up a hammock. In an earlier video I did one on how to use a timber hitch and that's still my favorite knot. But I had someone contact me and told me that the timber hitch they just they had tried it and tried it and they weren't doing it right. Was there another knot? So that's the reason I wanted to share this with you. I'm sure there's some fancy name for this knot, but I learned it as the hammock knot. I learned that uh, Hennessy Hammocks also teaches it by, they've got a bigger rope. It's a 
pinky thickness rope that comes on theirs and so it's harder to tie a close fitting knot with such a large rope. So with a large rope what I would do is be go around the tree, go over, come back under, make two loops, and then do the half hitches and it would cinch tight. I can do that with a thumb size rope and it will hold just as good as a smaller rope. The problem with trying to get a bigger rope, we're talking, you know, pinky up size rope to hold is the fact that most people don't have the hand strength to pull it tight enough at every knot so it doesn't do that. And once it is good and tight, it's harder to get it to unlock and let go. So this knot is easy to untie and that's a big factor. When you're, you've been in that hammock all night, your body weight's been on it, you've shifted, you've pulled, may have had a storm in the trees that pulled a little bit, and that knot is blood tight. It's a knot that I can guarantee I can get out with just my fingers without having to result of some sort of pick or whatever to pull it apart. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. Until next time, guys, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.